Our next speaker is the CEO at Open University Skolko in Mos Moscow, Russia. He's not only a TEDx senior ambassador to Russia, but as well the organizer of TEDx Skolkovo and TEDx Moscow events. We are proud to welcome this digital leader here in Luxembourg. Please welcome Mr. Andrei Egorov. I started with the uh, innovation ecosystem in Russia and tell you a few words uh, about Skolkovo project as a context uh, about innovation ecosystem. Uh, you heard the example of Maurizio about H farm, and I think every country now is uh, concerned about uh, creating their own Silicon Valley. Uh, Sil Silicon Valleys. Why? Uh, because you can see, for example, this is market capitalization of top five uh, companies in Russia and US. You can say that in Russia, four companies are from uh, oil and gas, and one is a bank which came uh, from the old uh, Soviet bank. And so altogether, they cost less even than one uh, high tech company from US. And so we have some problems with that. And if, uh, if we won't develop a new type of economy, new, uh, if we won't develop innovations, uh, uh, we can't survive in the next decades. Uh, that's why uh, it was decided to launch in Russia also Silicon Valley and it's called Skolkova. It's already a six years old project, and uh, it was decided uh, to create it from the scratch, from the zero. Uh, the government gave 400 hectares of uh, plain laid, uh, uh, land near Moscow, uh, it's just five kilometers uh, out of the border of Moscow, and uh, decided to build a totally new city uh, with uh, all infrastructure for innovation. And uh, the main task was not only to build the city, but to create the culture of uh, entrepreneurship in Russia. Uh, because, you know, uh, during the last century, private initiative uh, entrepreneurship wasn't welcome in Russia. And so now many uh, students after graduated universities, they intend to go to some uh, government positions or to work for big companies, but not to establish their own uh, companies and to take all the risk of entrepreneurs. So uh, the task is to build the city and to fulfill it with the content and the uh, desire to open their private businesses. And uh, to do that, uh, in Skolko we had uh, few elements uh, that uh, create now. Uh, first of all, it's startup companies that we are attracting all over the Russia in five main directions. It's like uh, biomedicine and agriculture, it's IT technology, space technologies and communications, nuclear technologies and energy efficiencies. And uh, uh, for now, we have about 1,600 startup companies in Skolkova uh, for the uh, last six years that came to that came to Russia. Uh, so uh, the, se the second part of the ecosystem that we're creating, it's uh, uh, agency centers of uh, world famous companies uh, that are opening their offices and R&Ds in, in Skolkova. For example, uh, first uh, R&D center of Boeing, first training pilot center was opened uh, last year in Skolkova, as well as other companies uh, like Microsoft, Cisco, Pfizer, and so on, are going to open their offices in Skolkova. Uh, the third part of our ecosystem, it's uh, uh, in venture funds and angel investments. Uh, the people and the funds who give the money for startup companies. And the core of the city is university. Uh, together with MIT, we created uh, Skolkov Institute of Science and Technology, which is the first uh, university, uh, first entrepreneurial university in Russia. Actually, we have a long tradition in Russia of uh, different uh, science cities and fundamental science, but there is no tradition of making uh, projects, making companies from the science. So this new type of university is supposed to be the core of, uh, of the innovation city. And uh, government decided to make some uh, privileges for startup companies in Russia. And if you are going to Skolkov Innovation City, by federal law, you pay almost no taxes. Uh, the majority of 
taxes are zero percent, and only one social tax uh, going from 35 to 14 percent. And after that, you can uh, have office in uh, Skolkovo itself. You can uh, use all the infrastructure, the centers of collective uh, usage to make your research, and as well as uh, participate in different acceleration and mentorship programs. Uh, I may say that uh, majority of the things uh, in our ecosystem uh, Maybe the same that Maurizio already mentioned in his previous in his previous presentation, and I think many countries go the same way. Uh, as an example of the companies uh, we have uh, from this 1600, uh, uh, there are something already on the market, like uh, for example, Vision Labs, uh, the company that helps with face recognition or nanosemantics, uh, or exact led uh, which helps the people uh, with the problem of movements uh, with the help of exoskeleton to move again. Uh, or it could be, for example, Group IB, the top six uh, world companies in cybersecurity now. Uh, even uh, autonomous vehicles company, we have in Skolkova, and now they're in the process of um, uh, training these uh, buses in Skolkova, and then they will go to Moscow. Uh, so physically, the city in the process of construction now, and we have, I think, maybe 25% of the city built, and uh, we invited uh, many world-famous architects uh, to Skolkova. Uh, for example, the uh, Skolkova Institute of Science and Technology is uh, by Herzog de Miron, or Technopark is by Jean Pister, and the last project of Zaha Hadid is also will be built in Skolkova, like R&D center of Sberbank. And a uh, few examples, this Technopark, uh, the biggest in Eastern Europe, uh, was opened uh, just in January, and startup companies are now uh, reallocating here, uh, as well at some R&D centers. But my main question, it's not about uh, how to build a new city and uh, uh, how to start businesses there. Um, I'm responsible in uh, Innovation Center for bringing young people all over the Russia to Skolkova because we can build famous uh, buildings, we can give a lot of money, but uh, we should acquire human capital that someone should uh, live, work, and study in our innovation center. So I'm responsible for Open University Skolkova, which is totally not a university, uh, because uh, it doesn't have any premises, uh, I don't issue any diploma, and even we don't have uh, staff for our events. It's just uh, a program uh, within our innovation center to work with uh, students, to work with young scientists uh, for a few objectives. To involve them in interskolkov activities and to translate the same entrepreneurial culture in other Russian city and to promote uh, engineering, science and entrepreneurship uh, in Russia. So, uh, in Open University, we invite uh, talented students and young scientists from different Russian cities to our events. We use different kinds of events from regular lectures and courses to some uh, entertainment events like uh, TEDx or movie festivals. And uh, there are a few examples. A uh, few times per, per year, we invite about 150 people for one week to Skolkova uh, for seasonal camp, and we work on a uh, uh, particular topic. Uh, just last week, we finished Innovators in Navigator Summer School just to allow students to launch their, uh, to tell them how to launch their own uh, startup companies. Or, we made uh, this, our Skolkovo camp even in Vladivostok, which is nine hours flight from Moscow, uh, trying to develop a local ecosystem as well. And uh, there could be different topics uh, from IT to agriculture uh, to pharmaceuticals, how a modern uh, medicine is now produced and how to start uh, uh, the company in this field. Or 
even uh, job fairs to help uh, young people to find their jobs and uh, school cover days for the delegations of the world for one who is coming to Russia we uh, give one day program in school cover and uh, the main task not only to make this a uh, small ecosystem in Skolkova, but to translate it in, in other Russian cities. Uh, that's why uh, in Open University we made uh, some kind of guidelines how to make educational uh, events on innovation and entrepreneurship. And people who come to Skolkova for our uh, programs, after that they could scale these programs in their uh, local cities and uh, to develop their local communities. Um, because uh, it's uh, they are living in different. Uh, Russia is very big. They are living in different cities, and not everybody could uh, uh, go to Skolkovo for living. But uh, we can show the example, and after that, uh, help them to develop uh, with the help of Skolkovo uh, their local communities. Uh, as well as uh, we're trying to promote big ideas to think globally and we organize in Skolkova uh, TEDx events on TED license like uh, TEDx Moscow and TEDx Skolkova as well because Skolkova is initially the name of the village uh, near Moscow which is now the name of the innovation center. Uh, we launched as well a science movie festival uh, which allows to see uh, best uh, science movie not documentary but uh, movie based on science and technology and showing their social impact on uh, on the society uh, here is some uh, numbers in open university uh, we attracted about 40,000 people who came to Skolkova for our events and about 900 it's people who somehow uh, stayed with us, uh, stayed with, in our community and make some something in Skolkova. And uh, for this year's uh, 24 uh, companies were made by my students. Uh, I already mentioned that in Skolko we had uh, 1,600 startup companies. And so 24 are made by students. And some of them went as employees to our companies, to startup companies or to uh, b bigger companies that have their R&D centers in Skolkova. And some continue the education in Skolkova Institute of Science Technology. So the task of our program of Open University is to uh, bring young people uh, to innovation center and then to allow their career opportunities, their career development uh, in the center. Uh, there are some examples with the companies, but as well, not everybody makes their KPIs inside Skolkova. Uh, some of them go outside, go, for example, to 500 startups, go to Silicon Valley or establish their own uh, projects that not uh, directly connected to our innovation center, but uh, it's wider already than these 400 uh, hectares of land. Uh, we are trying to attract not, not only uh, local community, local students, but international community as well. And that's why we have uh, two major events once a year in Skolkova. Uh, one is uh, like a big picnic uh, for about uh, 10,000 people that, uh, that is held uh, every June in Skolkova. Uh, and uh, we invite students, we invite startup companies, we invite people who are interested in uh, technological entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, there are different kinds of events, uh, startup bazaar and so on. And I invite you to visit uh, Moscow and Skolkova in June this year, as well as uh, biggest event in Russia about discussing innovations and all the issues connected uh, with it is the uh, Open Innovation Forum. Uh, it's also an international event uh, that is uh, held every October and uh, it will be uh, in October this year as well. So I invite all of you to visit Russia, to visit Moscow and of course to visit Skolkova and to see how we are trying to switch from uh, gas and oil to some innovations. Yeah, and my powerful question is connected to a job I'm doing is uh, how, what is the instruments and how to attract uh, talents uh, to innovation ecosystem? What are the instruments maybe you can advise? Uh, thank you.